Okay, so we can see that the light is over here. The whole thing, right here we've got, my first concern is that we see this pattern with the quasi-crystal on the sword, which is so strange to see this on a Trump coin. <laughs> can you see that? I'm gonna take it up as big as this will go. So that, that's what it is. That's, that's basically what I have already pulled up images of here, these quasi-crystals. And I'll actually open one up into Photoshop and put that right next to it if we can, just to take a look at it and see it. And I'll just take a second to set that those four beside that. I'm about to pull that over and drop it. Okay, and bring it back up. Now you can see that, right? If I place it, we'll see that it'll actually, now you can see the pattern. So it's an interesting thing, you know, maybe that's an Islamic pattern that's existed for thousands of years for all I know, but that structure is exactly the same as a quasi-crystal that self-assembles into nanophotonic cells that can be programmed and will be the next wave of quantum computing. Right now they're doing it. It's light-driven AI that they see as the future. And this light-driven AI future has high bandwidth and possibilities that we humans can hardly imagine. So the light, you can see clearly traveling up, hits what is like this, this uh, cell, this photonic cell, this is this, uh, you know, it's like a circuit. And we can see, it's right here. I'm just gonna circle that. Oh, I've got my wrong brush. Let's get it. There we go. So this here, a little thing there. That's, that's, that's interesting, right? But my big concern is this heart. And then we've got this here as well, 6G. They're gonna need 6G to control this nanophotonic system that they put inside of us because if you put a nan nanophotonic chip inside of an organism, a cow, a sheep, for instance, you know, they probably don't know that it's inside of them, right? Because it's so small, how would they know? And how would they know that it, they were connected to a central hub? A terahertz Bluetooth signal could be picked up from them and you could connect to that sheep or that cattle and know what it's doing 24 seven. You could know what its heartbeat is. You could actually know if that cow is kind of distressed or angry. You could know if that cow is watching some conspiracy videos or talking on TikTok to people and telling them crazy stuff. Anyways, interestingly enough, 6G is the operating frequency. So. I'm just saying, if I was an evil genius that for my science fiction I'm writing, I would definitely be putting like a, a control grid, like or what would you call it, like a web over over the Earth of probably satellites. I need thousands of satellites, so for sure, you probably have to. Who who would do that? But anyways, if we could put satellites up, then we'd be able to create like a Bluetooth terahertz kind of operating system to uh, maybe create like a, an internet of I don't know humans. An internet of bodies they call it now we can see that the concern in this design i have no idea what the palm tree is if somebody could tell me that i'm going to look at my phone in a second and actually be able to see because i have no idea what this part is take a look at this it's just palm trees i don't know maybe it means peace or maybe it's just it could be for some resort <laughs> i have no idea maybe some resort trump likes Anyways, these ones and zeros, we know that what that means. These ones and zeros are like just, you know, bits, ones and zeros, bits of information, okay? And of course, these, these wheels, that's nice. We can see that they're somehow, they're turning a machine. This is a whole machine. Oh, wait, I missed something, guys. Oh, the most important thing. What's this doing in here? There's two needles. It's not just one. There's two down here, right? Oh, I weigh that way too big. There we go. How's that? 
Okay, so what are these guys doing here? Why are they there? Makes you think that there's two, two sets of injections coming. See, I believe in symbolism. I believe that that symbolism is their weakness. Like pride is the greatest of all evils, right? And if you can't walk away without putting your name on it and trying to take credit for it, well, most of the time, I don't think one person can take credit for what's going on in Paris, right? <laughs> in France, all across France. It's the entire population that takes credit for it. Anyways, the interesting part is, is that what we see at the top of this design, I'm going to take this back for anybody who doesn't know what this is. We're going back to the sword, the Trump sword on the back of the coin. And we found some interesting things here. We found one quasi-crystal design here, an interesting fundamental element that can be used to build photonic circuits. Oh, boom, photonic circuits right here. Next, there's going to be heart problems. There's going to be two sets of injections, satellite system, some sort of a system connected together and satellites with a Bluetooth signal coming off that. This definitely looks interesting as well. Space Force, I don't know what. Dove of Peace, of course. But then this. Why is Saturn sitting there at the top of this? Why is Saturn sitting there? I mean, like, I hope it's not that big enough for everyone. Okay, so why is, why is Saturn here? So, apparently Saturn is very important to them. 